here I go over analyzing everything as soon as I get on camera and I haven't been on here for a minute so I know I have been MIA from here if you clicked on this video if you're still here if you still subscribed if you're still tuned in thank you thank you very much there's a lot to catch up on but i just wanted to kind of just start off with like life lately and where i've been like the clips that you guys just saw okay i had to prop you guys up because i just couldn't stand like having to hold you guys but yeah so that has been like my morning routine and like my after work routine and then granted like after i go for my walk um either i'll like like when i come home either i'll like make dinner and then go on a walk which is like what i prefer you know because i pick up my son from school and then that nighttime routine starts and then it's like dinner he showers and then like i go out on a walk and then kind of like just decompress towards the end of the day you know watch something on youtube or be on my phone on tiktok so that's pretty much like my everyday monday through friday routine so yeah that's uh what I've been up to and um, the clips that you guys saw in the beginning is pretty much the last time I was in my salon. I don't have my salon anymore. The owner sold her property and after that I just, it almost feels like God made the decision for me because in the back of my head of I think I was I started off part-time full uh, part-time corporate girly and then I was doing the hair and trying to balance it out and really running my own business like on the weekends and I just lost my passion for it so honestly I was just kind of already like thinking to myself like you know what I don't know if I really want to do hair anymore I've been in this industry for seven years now and I didn't like having to run a business where I had to physically be there to provide a service and I feel like I, I definitely like the I like running my own business and having my own business I just prefer to not have to be present you get what I mean and like performing like labor physical labor for I I would much rather like sell a product and you know be behind the scenes with like packaging or something like that like that's just that's the type of business I would want so I'm glad I did it um, I had my business for about a year and when she told me she was selling the property I was just more relieved because I had the thoughts in the back of my mind. I just didn't bring it up to God of like, okay, well, what's the next step? I was just kind of like just grinding and grinding and grinding and like mostly just doing it for my clients. My, I love my clients. I had the best clients. I've had clients since cosmetology school and my first um, hair job. <laughs> so I was just like I don't want to let you guys go and I feel like I don't think I would have made the decision on my own so the fact that like God made the decision for me I was more than happy I was relieved I was like okay like this is a situation that I can't control you get what I mean so I was able it was easier to like tell my clients like hey I don't have a salon anymore and I didn't want to bring clients back into my home so because that's how it started right last year when I left Ulta I was with clients at home and I just you know I was so happy to have the space and I got you so used to having the own my own space and the the shampoo bowl and like everything that like bringing it back into my home I'm like yeah no that's not gonna work out for me so it's official I am technically not doing hair anymore obviously my license is still gonna be current I'm still gonna have that I feel like in life things happen and you never know when you're gonna need a backup so yeah I'm gonna just keep that current plus I get all the discounts from all the stores so I'm gonna keep that uh, yeah so that's like one of the major updates so no more salon diaries I'm so sad but I am in a place with corporate where so I've heard about like the golden handcuffs so I think that's where I'm at 
with life right now and I'm so happy I was able to pivot into this and it was it was an interesting transition I'm not gonna lie but it was it was nice like it was doable it wasn't hard it was just like that emotional attachment to my clients and yeah I don't know if I'm gonna ever go back to doing hair maybe maybe not I don't know life is interesting life will take you to and fro so I'm gonna just go with the flow at this point but I love my corporate job and you know I haven't been like I don't think I've ever been like full-time 40 hours I think I've uh, uh, not since before my son was born so yeah I was like kind of full-time before my son was born but then after I had my son you know my husband was just like yeah if you want to work work if you don't then don't and then like I was already kind of like wanting to like work so I just always was like part-time <laughs> and then like raising my son but like my son's older now he's a big kid so I'm just like what am I gonna do with my time hmm, make more money so yeah that's where I've been but yeah I'm surprised if you guys are still here you guys are still tuning in like I said earlier like just thank you I just always come back to YouTube because I just love YouTube I love doing this I I love the whole process of it I love sharing my life and you know if you guys still watch I just I'm like wow thank you the all what 400 of you guys <laughs> but yeah I just I really thoroughly enjoy this and now people are looking at me so mm, I don't know what's another update oh I, I was I did put up videos of like the whole Ulta thing I did end up suing them so I had a lawsuit with Ulta um, I sued them and they settled so basically I won and um, what's another update also I've been away oh why I've been away that's I feel like not that you guys need an explanation but I think I like to explain why I've been away because I am I can be consistent on here and then that's when I start to see my channel grow more but when I'm like inconsistent and like posting here and there it's not growing but I feel like I like to see that timeline of like what's happening with my life when I go back and look at my videos it's more so like my little digital scrapbook journey <laughs> but um yeah so this year there is um four back-to-back -back deaths in my family and when I say my family it's from my husband's side but that's my family so it was it was hard and you know you're not gonna feel like you want to come on camera and like be like hey you know you're not gonna come on here and be a Debbie Downer I feel like unless it's like you're already like how can I say this like made and you have a bigger audience and I feel like they want to know what's happening and why you're gone and it's like more like your job and you're getting paid and like you kind of owe people a little bit more information like during the time it's happening you know and I feel like people will come on here and be like oh this is happening this is happening I'm gonna take a break like I just feel like I don't have that type of audience for me to be like I'm gonna take a break like I, who am I <laughs> I'm no one <laughs> but um yeah there was deaths in my family and just going through the motions and the process and just the support and being there for my husband it was literally like January February and then two in February that were back to back and then March passed and then April there was like that was like the biggest one and I I'm not gonna speak for my husband it's not in my place to say who what where when it's just just know that it was definitely a journey and I think I posted a video on TikTok where like a year and a half of a, a year and a half of losses so that pretty much just summarizes my whole year and a half like my whole past like year and a half I didn't say that right that sounded weird Ugh. 
here I am over analyzing how I'm saying it and what I'm saying but I posted like pictures of like my salon because that was also part of a loss like I did have to grieve losing the salon like it wasn't just like yeah I'm relieved good good riddance like it was still an emotional process so losing people you know it all started from like losing my job at Ulta the way that it happened right it was just terrible and then losing people losing family and you know losing you know my essentially like my career and losing the salon it was just a lot so I'm in a better place now and I am I, after going through the process and healing like obviously the pain is still there but I think I'm in a better place in my life where I can do this and that's pretty much like the life update today I have a shorter break usually I have an, an hour lunch but today I have a 30 minute lunch because I leave earlier and so yeah i hope to see more of you guys and i hope you guys get to see more of me hopefully this is kind of like a reset of my youtube channel if you guys are still watching um please comment let me know yes we're still here um all 400 of you <laughs> but um yeah i'm just gonna finish off the day and then I'll probably just start uploading some like weekend vlogs because during the week I'm literally at work all day and it's just rinse and repeat Monday through Friday with like my morning routines and my afternoons routine but yeah let me know in the comments